Hey, this is Joe Gilder with Personas. File this one under handy little tips that you might not know about. So if you look at this Ranger in Studio One, uh, you may notice something that's a little bit different from most of my videos is you can see the names of each of these uh, pieces of audio. We call them events in Studio One. And when it looks like this, it's not too bad. But if you have a bunch of small events, like say you've got some loops that loop over and over, or if you've maybe done extensive editing like this, right? Um, you can see every time I split an event, it d duplicates the name. See how the name is at the top? This is Tom 1, Take 4. This is Kick 4. Um, and if you have a whole bunch of those over the course of an entire song, things can start to just look really kind of messy. Um, so there are seasons, there are times where it's nice to have that name there. But a few years ago, I turned off this feature, and I like the almost the minimalist look that it gives Studio One. So you may have seen this feature, but if you haven't, come up to the little wrench, like all of our answers, all of our questions are answered by the wrench in Studio One. Click on the wrench and just deselect this option right here, show event names. I'm gonna do that now, wa-bam. Look how much cleaner the session looks. So if all you have are single pieces of audio like this bass track, um, it's one take, there's no edits, there's no nothing there, then it's not so bad to have the names here. But if you do have a lot of edits or a lot of loops, having a whole bunch of different names can start to get, it starts to just look a little messy. And I sometimes like things to look clean. It helps with my headspace, I think, a little bit. So come to the wrench and choose, deselect the show event names. You can always bring them back, and you can always see the event name if you, if you want to double-click on it. Um, not double-click on it, but if you want to select it and then show it in the pool. Did you know we have a pool? Yeah. Studio One has a pool. Um, if you go to event, I never use this feature, but it's here, select in pool. It opens up the pool of audio files. It's not a swimming pool, sorry to burst your bubble. And you can see the name of it there. But I can't think of a situation, maybe if you're using a lot of loop libraries and you want to see the name of that loop that you use, that would be a way to do it. Or probably a simpler, solu simpler. A simpler solution would be to just come click this on for a second. Um, and then you can change, you can show the event name. Okay? Uh, you can also change the event name if you want. Um, by right-clicking on any of any event or marker, pretty much anything happening inside of Studio One. If you pull up a window that looks like this, where it's got a bunch of information, this top little section here is usually double-clickable, and you can just type in something else, like boom. So now that particular region is now called boom. So that can be helpful if you've got certain loops that you need. You keep forgetting what they are, um, and then maybe you want to give them a name inside of the session. Uh, that can be helpful as well. All right, keeping it nice and easy for today. Have fun. Go make some music. I'll see you in the next one.